we've learned how to identify vowels we've learned how to identify ending consonants the sounds they make at the beginning and at the end so let's see if you can read korean vocabulary some korean words okay now let's start can you pronounce this yes try okay this is hangul Han Gul. So you guys have must have been hearing me saying it. Let's read Hangul. We're going to read Hangul. So this is how you write it. Hangul. Okay. So this is Hangul. Hangul. This is Korean alphabet. Hangul. Now this is Sento. 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 Okay. So it is center in English. Center. Like I want to be in the center of the room. Okay. This is cell. 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 Like a jail cell. Cell. Okay. I pray, I pray you guys can see this. Because this camera keeps refocusing. Okay. Now this is. Do you remember this sound? This sound is pretty hard to pronounce. If you remember from our last lecture. Okay. This is uija. Now I'm not pronouncing this again. I'm just laying emphasis because this does not have any phonetic value when you use it at the beginning of a syllable. Okay, so this is uija, uija, uija. It's the word for cheer in Korean. Now this is olgul, olgul, olgul. Hmm? The Korean word for face. Now this is Gaptong. 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 Now this one actually when it came to mind, I think I have there's a movie called uh, a Korean movie actually called Gaptong. Yes, I've watched it before. So if any of you have watched it, please uh, give me a comment in the description box. Let me know if you've watched it. Okay, so this is Gap tong cap tong okay now this is pihengi 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 this is the word for plane so this is pihengi plane okay this is nara nara not naira or nigerians nara nara this is the word for country in Korean. Now this is hak seng. Hak seng. Now you can see that when I'm using this as the ending consonant, it has the ng sound. Hak seng. So this is student. So now this next one is hangugo. Hangugo. But naturally you want to pronounce it hanguk o. Hanguk o. That's not the right pronunciation. Now whenever you come across something like this when you are reading Korean and you see um, something like this, what you want to do is to transfer this um, um, ending syllable to this one. Now, you are doing this because this um, consonant right here does not have any phonetic value, okay? So, it will be han gu go, okay? The pronunciation will be han gu go, han gu go, okay? So, instead of han gu ko, it will be han gu go, okay? This is Korean language, the word for Korean language. So instead of hanguk o, it will be hangugo. Okay, we did this because we transferred the sound for this to here. Okay, we are transferring this sound up here. We're transferring this sound up here. Okay, when you uh, uh, ending consonant meets a consonant that does not have any phonetic value, you transfer the sound from down here to up here. Okay, so now I like this particular word because many of you know it, but you might have heard it, but you don't know that this is the this is the particular word. Now this is pronounced bang tang soyondan. Bang tang soyondan. Okay, this is the full meaning of BTS. Those of you that like BTS, the boy group, um, the South Korean boy group called BTS. I like them too. I like their movies. Like I use them for my ringtone, message tune, everything. Okay, so this is the full meaning of BTS. It was too long. That is why they shortened it to BTS. So this is bang tang soyondan. Okay. And the final uh, Korean vocabulary word we have for today is Son Zeng Nim. Son Zeng Nim. This means teacher. 
in Korean, okay? Now, if you notice, uh, Korean words have syllables, okay? Like I said, they're made up of syllables. Now, if you want to know how many syllables are in a word, you just simply count them. Now, this has one, two, three. Three syllables, okay? This has one, two, three, four, five. Five syllables. So, I'm sure you can count the rest, okay? So, Korean words or Korean... Yes, Korean words and sentences are made up of syllables. They can be one, they can be two, it can be three or more. Okay, so this is Hangul, Hangul, Center, Center, Cell, Cell, Uija, Uija, Oigul, Oigul, Gaptong, Gaptong, Pihengi, Pihengi. Nara, Nara, Hak Seng, Hak Seng, Hangugo, Hangugo, Bangtang Soyondan, Bangtang Soyondan, or Bangtang Soyondan, okay? Son Zeng Nim, Son Zeng Nim. So now, the final thing we're going to learn today is double ending consonants, okay? So you don't have to memorize this, but you just know how to, you have to know how to read them when you see them okay so these are the 11 um double ending consonants that we have and i wrote down some examples of how you can see them or some examples of when you see them in a word so i'm going to be showing you how to read it okay so i'm i'm guessing you'll be saying okay how am i going to read this i'm going to transfer this to this right because this does not have any phonetic value okay you are very right so what you want to do when you are pronouncing this is to transfer this particular sound, you read this like this and transfer this sound here. Hmm? You transfer this sound here. Gap C. Gap C. Gap C. When reading this, you transfer this sound to this sound because this does not have any phonetic value. Okay? This sound does not have any, this consonant does not have any phonetic value. So you are reading this. And this okay, so this will be gap C gap C and this will be sal me sal me okay now another situation is when you see this now all these sounds have phonetic value right so how do you want to read this so in this case what you do is you throw this first consonant away okay you throw this first consonant away so this to read this will be tak to tak to tak to okay now you are not transferring any sound because this one has the phonetic um value so you can't just throw it away so what you do here is to transfer this particular sound out you throw it away so you pronounce tak to tak to but when writing it you have to write it so that people understand what you're writing so another example is sam to sam do you are throwing this one out some do you throw the first syllable out some do okay so there are also exceptions where you can't throw the first syllable the first ending consonant away you have to throw the second one away okay i know it's hard to comprehend but when you keep on practicing you just practice how to write korean vocabulary okay you will learn it okay if you don't make mistakes you will not learn okay so if i want to pronounce this because we are throwing away this second syllable it will be mock Mock to so we are throwing this away. Mock to mock to and this will be gap. This will be gap to gap to gap to. So let me take it again. When reading this, you are throwing away, you are not throwing away. Sorry, you are going to transfer this particular sound here because this does not have any phonetic value, so it's going to be gap C. Okay, gap C. Hope you can see this. I'm not used to writing big, oh, you guys. Because of you, old, I'm writing big like this. Gap C. Gap C. Okay, this does not have any phonetic value. And this would be sal me. When pronouncing, not when writing, okay? Sal me. Now, this would be tak to. Tak to because you are throwing away this first uh syllable i'm sorry first um ending consonant so it will be tak do tak to tak to and this will be 
some do some do some do you are throwing away this first uh character here so now i said there are some exceptions where you can't throw away the first character you throw away the second character not throwing away per se you just don't pronounce it okay because there's no way for you to pronounce it okay you can't pronounce these two characters at the same time except you want to bite your tongue you can't pronounce it at the same time there's no way you can pronounce it at the same time so now this would be mock do mock do and this would be gap do now like i said you don't have to keep this all these 11 consonants in your i mean double ending consonants in your head you just have to know how to read them so i think i've covered all the basics about reading hangul okay so what you have to do next is just to memorize you have to like read a lot of korean vocabulary okay watch them in movies watch youtube um weekly videos like i like watching weekly idol so you need to watch that so that you hear them more and try practicing okay get korean articles from the internet and just try practicing you understand you get used to it so this is the end of our video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it you know i hope you have learned something and please if you are watching till now don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share and uh, subscribe till next time guys bye